Hello everyone, my name is Jakub Hammerník, I am the programmer from Hammer Games and I am here to present you the gameplay of our new game Transport Services which recently we published in version 0.2 um, So let's start it Here you can set the game I will play on difficulty easy you can name your town, I will keep the hometown. You can change the density of nature. I like the visual of dense mountains and dense forest. And once we are finished, you hit play. Wait a while, the terrain is generating. So, now we are in the game, I will pause it. And um, what you can see, there are two towns, hometown and Atlanta. You can see that both have some color. Hometown is brown and Atlanta green. It uh, reflects the color of passengers. You can see passengers here, it's 14 passengers. And if you click here, it will show more details. Uh, wait a second, I will just hide two tips because I am talking about it. So, now you, you see more details about the passengers. You see that there is uh, there are 14 green passengers, which means that they want to travel to any green city on the map. And now we have just only one green city, which is Atlanta. And vice versa, because we have just one brown city. So everyone basically from Atlanta wants to hometown. But once we have more green cities, you can uh, choose or the passengers choose which city they want to travel. It doesn't mean they have to go to Atlanta, they can go to a different city. Here is the number of population who lives in the city. There is a total of population of all cities together. There is a number of cities revealed. We have just two now. There is the most important thing. It's the money. Because you have to pay things. Here is the minimap. It's pretty obvious. It has some uh, features. Maybe we will add more features in the future. Just now it has, if you click on it, it will point the camera at the city you are clicking on. So if you get lost, you can click, it will target you to the right direction. So now what we have to do is to manage the transportation of the passengers, because you see that there is a crowd value of the stations. Once it reach 100%, you get a problems. On easy difficulty, it's not very much important to keep it under 100%. It just uh, maybe you will see it. Uh, your buildings, which are now building in the city, because we just posted at the start of the game, uh, gets more ugly and gray and they will be empty so the only reason why you do not want to exceed this number is that you will start losing population in your city and your city will not be so nice but on the higher difficulties you have to pay back the the tickets of, of your passengers which waited too long for for the commission and there is the last thing it's a product uh, you can see that there are more icons of products but there are zeros uh, it's because the city doesn't have yet any production and you will see it later once we get the city bigger and there will grow up some factory which will produce the coal now what you can see is um, if you want to skip the 
minimap you can click here but I will keep it there are three ways how to transport people road vehicles or road transportation trains and aerial which means planes and airships they are the most advanced so they are very uh, costly we do not have money for it yet and it would be way to overkill for, for such start of the game so for the start you can choose basically from these two transportation kinds the road vehicles are designed for very short distances they are very versatile because you do not have to solve mm, a lot of stuff around the rails junctions and um, how to solve the track to not uh, get crowded too much so you can pretty base um, just create passes and send them you can uh, make a lot of them but for now because I expect that uh, we will get more cities in the reversal and so why not do not start to build a rail track because we know we will continue yes sorry <laughs> I click here it's the station there are, there is a rail icon you can just point and click or you, uh, you can hold it and if you drag it in the right direction it will build if you misplace it will not build simply so it will just build the rails in the right position you don't have you do not have to afraid so let's go Here we will reach the point, build another station, and you can choose a new vehicle. There are two platforms, so it's like just one of them. For example, this, and you can select from four machines. Three are basics, just uh, leveled, like. This just can carry three wagons, this five, this seven, and this one is special, it's granted just for having so big cities, so it's a reward train. It's very fast. Mm, because we do not have much money, we can choose from the basic one or the middle one. I will choose the middle one for example. You can uh, add more uh, wagons. The first one is for products, which are here, because we do not have any production yet, it's nonsense to have it. So we can click here, for the full train will be passenger only. You can add or change uh, the wagons uh, over the time for free, just it will kick out the passengers if they are sitting there. So. There is a track. If you click on that plus, you can add more stations to the track. You see here, here the track goes from Atlanta to hometown. Um, I will show more icons later because we will need more cities to explain. So now I just click the green light to start the train, and it doesn't start because we have the game still paused. So I will hit the play. Train start moving. Yes, I maybe forgot to say that if you hold the right mouse button, you can rotate the camera. Take a look and move VASD over the forward, right, and backward, or Alt and Control up and down. That's everything about moving maybe yes mouse wheel works as well to zoom in zoom out so 
episode it's about how to move your camera there is train the basic is you cannot go the track over the um, obstacles like trees or mountains for mountains you can go with tunnels which are currently more expensive than we can allow but later it will save you a lot of time and fuel yeah you can see that we delivered the passengers to the hometown currently it has 68 population and now we carried uh, green passengers to Atlanta I can speed it up you can also see that the train is on the minimap so if you s you will see a lot of dots you get probably train somewhere stuck because they are waiting on each other because maybe all the bad signals I will explain signals later because there is a very simple thing we have just point to point so there is no reason to do anything with the, with the lights signal sorry <laughs> come on yeah you can see the signal is yellow it means that there are oh, Okay, new town contract, that's great. When the uh, arrow is yellow, it means that there is any train which moving other direction, so no trains are allowed to go against that train. But you can send more trains in the direction because it doesn't block anything. So, stop talking and let's go building. We got another color of the city it's yellow and you can see that we have also a yellow passengers for example here so not only green but also yellow so i will just make this track longer get into milwaukee So now I will pause it. You can see here the track. It says that it goes from Atlanta to hometown to Milwaukee. It's not very good because it goes from this point to this point and backwards skipping this. So we can change the order of the, of the stations. So it will go from Atlanta to Milwaukee to hometown. It's still not great because Atlanta is in the middle. Or we can do this. This makes more sense from this view. And uh, I should explain this currently. This icon means that it will go from hometown to Atlanta to Milwaukee and then it uh, changed the direction and go backwards the same order from Milwaukee to Atlanta to home, hometown if you do a cycle it means that once it reach Milwaukee it will go not to Atlanta but to hometown you will just continue the circle imaginary circle so now I will keep this because this is the case you can also improve the train for better level it's still too expensive and no need for better train <laughs> so now <coughs> sorry so now we continue to Milwaukee 
and it should go back where Yes, it goes back and you can see it has loaded the brown passengers and green passengers so here it stops green passengers gets out and brown passengers enters once passengers reach the destination they will pay you the money so you can buy more things and the train has some running costs when it's passing the tracks just every track costs something some cents and time by time it just charge you one hundred down uh, the costs will be paid even though you go under zero and uh, you are also allowed to build the tracks when you do not have money but you cannot buy new machines or new buildings so you can just for example finish the route or, or something more important but you cannot expand it very fluently Soon we should see another city, yeah sorry, I forgot, there is a Tampa, new city, you can see it's again green, so for example from hometown you can go to Atlanta or to Tampa, but from Tampa you have to go to the brown city or yellow city. And now I will show you the other way of uh, transportation. So we will build the bus. For example here. And no. We have to build it, you know. For example here. Because we will not go a longer way. Now we can see that the hometown is way bigger than we started. Now it will continue growing. Now we will build a little station, for example here, and connect it. Here again you see the five lines. You click on one icon, select the bus, you can buy the cheapest one, select destination and it will show you the list of bus stations in the range which is only Tampa and once you click on it, it starts we got another town contract uh, behind Tampa and again green you can send of course more buses and this means that uh, you have you can send it to other destination if you have more or or the same destination it will not block you anyway oh i have to pause it because we got a contract for factory once we reach this point you can see that um, there are few things happened just run it slowly there is the warehouse which shows the how many resources are stored it always uh, shows the own production at 100% because it doesn't accept uh, the oil anymore because it has oil, oil rig here 
and it starts producing oil you can see we have fun oil for exportation it, uh, same happen here because we also got a contract but there is a coal mine so you can see there is a coal in the warehouse and there will be a coal mine so we can start rating for example this small train giving it Atlanta and we can still wait because there is no coal yet so we do not have to hurry um, I'll tell more how it works there is a timer it means it will consume one of each available resources in 4 minutes and 30 seconds and it will pay you as well as many kind of resources you will you were able to acquire in the city if you are not able to give there any resources you get negative value which uh, lower the it, it behaves similarly like you exceed the 100% of the passengers so basically in easy mode you do not get much, much punished you just can lose the houses like not exactly lose but get great and not very nice in uh, harder modes you have to pay the is it a fee? Is it a fee for not accomplishing it? So you have to always at least get there at one at, at least one more resource. If you are able to get even more, you you are very in in a plus. So you get a lot of money if you are able to acquire all of them. It's way more efficient than carrying passengers in that case so but I have, do not have to forget that we got a new city here and it doesn't have any connection so soon we would get an angry passengers here unfortunately it is again green so it doesn't help us much to connect it Tampa but there is no better way to Milwaukee I'll just check it but I'm afraid that Milwaukee is pretty pretty inaccessible maybe tunnel here yeah it would work but yeah we can and we can again do do the bus Way. So we will build, for example, here. You know, replace the station here. We will go to Philadelphia. pretty short of money we hope we can make it <laughs> hmm. I can firstly build the station because it will not allow me to build a station if we get into negative values and build a vehicle for example so these three and then we will finish can see we got into negative values and it would not allow us to build the station because we do not have money for it so luckily we made it and we can send it to Loki or start you can see the buses starts leaving the station to the Milwaukee with the passengers loaded you can see that the first bus have only yellow passengers because 
um, firstly always direct only passengers answers to any vehicle like if you have a train uh, ending in the yellow city so they will firstly enter yellow passengers but if for example you have blue passengers and no blue city on the road Uh, they will enter later once there is an empty space and there is no direct connection to blue station so they will try to find a way with a vehicle change and because we know that uh, from Willowkey there is a train connection to hometown so they will try uh, they will move by bus to Milwaukee and then change bus to the train to reach their destination so let's play it again there is a bus heading to the Tampa yes we got a lot of All here so we can start our train there are still only two trains on the, on the route so they you have to count with the number of the trains on the route because they can change they can change um, what they can pass by just on the stations and you can see there are two two lines so if we had three and two stuck here and one wanted uh, to move over it's a uh, blocked situation because they are waiting to leave the tra uh, track here and this train would expect to move over the station which is overcrowded which is full so take in mind and you have to design for example uh, more capacity tracks let's say but now we have uh, three wagons with full with coal heading to the what is it Atlanta you can see it's in one minute 25 seconds there will be consumption cycle Oh, I believe it can make it. The better trains are also faster and brakes better and accelerates better so it's better to improve the train but you can also improve it from this small train so you can start with the small trains and upgrade them later it's maybe a better way to play. Uh, I just click on something and forgot. Yeah, here we got a contract. There will be a wood production. So there is a wood factory. And we will probably extend the same way the route to this train. You can see it loaded the oil and heading to hometown. So for now I think I show a lot of basic stuff to play. Now we have to just play it faster for example and um, take care more maybe about tempo because you can see we are exceeding the number. take care of these numbers we'll check Milwaukee seems okay Atlanta seems okay hometown seems okay 
as of the passengers capacity are improved by building stations so more people can wait in comfort or you can improve the station here but it is not important right now to spend extra money for it we will just add an extra platform yeah, you can see that this train has to wait once this train reached the station so the rails will be freed come on riverside yes finally we got a yellow city another so we do not just have green cities we have also the yellow city so now we can make because there is no direction direct uh, access to from Tampa to any yellow city and it primarily takes the brown ones so we should make the connection from Riverside to Tampa because you see eight people are waiting to get into Tampa into Riverside or Milwaukee maybe Milwaukee is better because we have here a road so there is no hard way to make a connection there here it would be nonsense to take a new road over the mountains so we will just buy more buses and because this city becomes quite overcrowded we can improve the station so now we have an extra park line so it can carry up to two, uh, two buses at once or carry can what is it <laughs> can provide a entry point for two buses at once and also you can see we got more slots so if you click this you automatically create a bus and it has same route as the previous one so just make a lot of buses to get passengers out of the Tampa Yeah, you can see the mm, neutral, let's say <laughs> neutral cars, they are not yours, they are just making uh, traffic, traffic jams for you. <laughs> These are just casual people, traveling from one city to another. So, how stands the Philadelphia? Not well. And also we have that riverside unconnected. So what we can do is because it's on the way from hometown on the rails. Oh huge forest. We have to uh, sorry yes this is the like remove button but you get some charge back so we hit the recycle button because you recycle the usable reusable stuff from the tracks to just get some returns here and we do not have money for the station sorry I forgot on that part of the money so let's take a look also if you uh, uh, if you are able to 
deliver a lot of products. These companies who run the factories are happier and expand their their um, factories and you will see the bigger ones later but it will take some time as everything and slowly everything is growing and you will get more and more cities over time so it get more complicated and you have always anything to do maybe if you see that we do not have much things to do we can just beat the game up and soon you will have something to have to care of for example that riverside is waiting unconnected soon we will probably reach the situation we will have to solve solve the issue with the rails because we have just capacity for two so I will have to make a small one later maybe we will improve it in just hometown to not uh, interfere with the with the tracks here because there there would be three rail uh, three trains on the way and it would not behave very well because we do not have that track still ready for such huge commotion it's okay because it takes the passengers here and the green one will wait in this station up to the this this train reach the city and they will enter as as other passengers they will just connect let's do them here and it will also helps the yellow passengers to not go over the Atlanta just it will go directly to Riverside so the trains here will be less crowded oh Fresno got a new city I'm always clicking on the new city contracts and I forget that I click on it so sorry <laughs> yeah, I'm at the, as surprised as maybe you hmm I will show you a little trick because the game is still in development and some things work better than others. For example, here if we build it this way, this little little single rail doesn't and probably never will behave as as a, as a obstacle because trains can move here as as you see it's separated in the virtual this doesn't make a make a problem for moving more trains over this small thing so if you connect it directly you know this is directly there it, there will be no stuck trains to waiting for empty this single small piece a single rail if you build it here the train could stuck here and uh, this train would have to wait once this part is empty but if you build it here you do not have to wait no, you do not have <laughs> but the trains will never wait here so let's build to oh you throw the contract I'm so slow so I'm pausing the game again And wow, well, we are so rich right now. I, I was talking so long that I forgot that we have work and we have a lot of money. <laughs> so let's connect to the Fresno. And now we can take our train from Riverside. Where is it? Here and I did a Fresno because now it's a separate track as I said and it will continue this way to Fresno so and Los Angeles which is blue which is a problem because 
each city will start producing a blue people and we have no connection to any blue city right now so we will have to we will have to provide some connection and it's not in the nice way because there are mountains and Tampa is on the low capacity buses ah, first blue passenger you see it I do not want to see it so um, what we will do and do I'm afraid that uh, just bus lines would have to be from every single city or or maybe uh, of course if you would build uh, buses it will work because there are up to two switches for passengers they can switch vehicle two times like from Milwaukee take bus to Tampa from Tampa take bus to I don't know Philadelphia from Philadelphia to Los Angeles they will make it but it's it's taking three buses right and uh, right now and one passenger ba basically takes three seats which is not very effective and will just pay you once to, to not because they are paying once they reach the city so we have to think more effectively and probably we have to make some train connection from I don't know from Riverside do we have to build here the tunnel or we can pass by here we can pass by here so yeah this makes sense come on to make here and again we can make there is oh sorry houses I'm always <laughs> not very happy to demo demolish the city because there are <laughs> there are people for sure here they have families this should work no this should not work because we have no train station here and we will add the job to our this, this train yeah I will just give you a trick mm -hmm. On the station you can click on the icon of the train it will just point you to the train <coughs> you are clicked this train goes to Fresno and we can go to LA which is basically before Riverside it would make sense to make any rounded rounded um, around it track because you can send more trains in the same direction and they will never stack to to against each other and here we have nice six cities in a row so it could maybe work here and also we have these connected so later I would recommend this and maybe I should do it yeah, I wanted this to improve because now it's pretty long way and we will need uh, more carriage because a lot of people will want to blue city. So Hmm, what do we make here? We have quite a lot of money, so we can afford it. Come on. Tunnel. Hmm. Here. Well, this could work.
will be interesting teacher work normally if you place the rail over over the road it will remove the road so you cannot have trains and buses going on the same same place but this probably didn't take it so I will just add here station here here to the Los Angeles and we are in a negative value so we cannot buy more trains right now but never mind He connected it so so let's find our trains and set them new route and just pause it so there is one train it goes from hometown to Atlanta to Milwaukee but now we have to add Tampa and Los Angeles and Riverside and of course this is the final rounded so we make it a circle so it will go from Riverside not to Los Angeles but to hometown this will be the same from Milwaukee to forgot Tampa to Los Angeles to Riverside circle because Fresno is here yeah it's also connected so it shows because they can go there from here hmm and this train actually could block it and I do not want to make a block so I wait till it leaves this way and I will remove it the Fresno Maybe I can remove it right now and instead of hometown I should add Atlanta I should add Milwaukee Tampa and circle and we will see how it behaves it should as always maybe I didn't say it but uh, you do not have to solve how we rotate the train if it has to leave the station in other direction then it, it points just simply switch or just instantly rotates the train And as we have no connection to Fresno right now because we removed this train, yeah, you see, it just rotate. Riverside factory. Just make the way to Fresno start because we have some connection. At least all passengers from Fresno, we have to move to the main main route here because. It would be nonsense to take the circle way any other other or <laughs> enlarge the circle. It is quite okay for now. And as we are, we are using very simple way, there is no still need to take the need of the settings, which is which is very easy. Switches might be complicated to understand, and it's extra work with it, but can provide you more more solutions for making some mm, what is it crossings 
or roundabout. For now we are still in the, let's say, start of the game or beginning phase, maybe late beginning phase. But uh, now it's not very important to make very difficult crossings. Which will come for sure later once we will have way more people living in the game than 3000. You can see here in the hometown that we got some houses bigger right now and it will continue to rise once they will be huge skyscrapers. But it's still a long way to get the, uh, skyscrapers. But soon it will become big enough. I think it's enough about the interaction into transport services. I hope you liked the video and I'm looking forward to see you in the next time.